I'm so happy that you guys are back. Welcome to J. Carmel's J. Carmel Kitchen. I'm, that's how excited I am, right? So this is going to be a Mother's Day special. It's dear to me because I'm a mother and I wanted to create something that you can give to your mother, your wife, your sister, your aunt, your grandmother, all in between. And what What's better than a Rice crispy Donut Brownie-filled strawberry box? And we're going to create that today to make the absolute perfect Mother Day dessert box. So let's get started. So I melted some almond bark. I absolutely love this. So we could dip our donuts and all our dessert in. I'm going to start off with the donuts first, which they're so cute. Now I'm just going to dunk them. Just do a little turn and then I'm going to just sit them off on the parchment paper. I'm going to get one more. So I'm gonna use my pink chocolate now to do a different little color. What girl doesn't love pink and white? So pretty. Okay, so just to add a little flavor on my strawberries with color, I'm just going to drizzle some chocolate just like that. If you watch my other video, we did some chocolate covered strawberries and just goes to show all the designs that we did. Just something simple but cute just to make a statement. All right. Now I'm going to add some sprinkles just to add a little touch. And sometimes if you have big sprinkles, you just got to hold it down. And I'm going to add some sprinkles on top of the donuts. So I got a box and all I did was put some pink tissue paper in it just to add some more little flavor in it. Flavor is the word of the day. Okay. So I don't think I told you guys this, all this stuff I got from the dollar store and I didn't spend no more than $10. So this is the perfect inexpensive gift that is just thoughtful. All right. So we're going to start assembling the box. I'm going to layer it with some marshmallows. We're going to put that in there to cover the bottom. So once I have the marshmallows in at the bottom, I'm just going to move them around and make sure the whole base is covered. All right. So I'm going to add with some Rice Krispie treats. Put them down there. And you want to make sure all the colors are kind of spread out and make it even. It's kind of like our charcuterie board that we did with the symboling. I'm going to add some donuts. Rice crispy over here. Some brownies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The perfect box. Just kind of adjust it so the marshmallows could show, poke out. The marshmallows just adding for a little 
um, elevation at the bottom. But look at that, the perfect box with a lot of sweet treats. All right. I am absolutely obsessed with this box. Look at the pink color, the pink, the white, and then with the brown contrast, it's just everything. If you do this little project, it takes not even an hour of your time, considering how far a Dollar Tree is from you. But everything bought here was from the Dollar Tree. And it's such a thoughtful gift. Like I said, it was not more than $10, me buying everything, putting everything together. So I hope you guys enjoy this. But before we go, because I'm a mother and I'm going to represent myself, you know I had to bring something out. I have to do my sparkling non-alcoholic beverage. But we're going to celebrate on today for all the mothers, the aunties, the grandmas, the Instagram aunties. Because I'm sorry, when you like all them little baby pics, you a certified auntie, okay? M me too. Because there's some babies out there. I, I ain't never meet you, but I'm liking your photos, all your photos you posting of your child. But I just want to say congratulations. Wait, why am I saying congratulations? Like, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. I love you guys. We work hard out here. And the aunties and the grandmas and everybody else. It is a tribe in itself. But I thank all of you for being the great mother, auntie, grandma that you are. And salute to you. Have a good day.